Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Last Friday night, we were getting ready to ring in the new year. It was raining, coming off temperatures in the 60s, and then a few hours later, more tornadoes just south of our area. And now we're coming off our first snow of the season, the coldest air of the season so far, and a warm-up for this weekend, which will include just mainly plain old rain. And today was, well, just plain old frigid. High temperatures, upper teens to low 20s across the area. Most of the region was in the upper teens to near 20. Fairfield a little warmer at 22, with very little snow on the ground up in our northwestern counties. But live first warning Doppler radar is dry. That will be the case until sometime tomorrow afternoon when a little spotty light precipitation will begin to move through the area. Live view from downtown Owensboro. That's our roofclaim.com tower camera looking out on the Ohio River, which is beginning to fall now in Owensboro. The crest should be into Evansville tomorrow. Our Superior Ag Tower camera out of downtown Evansville. There's Sycamore Street heading towards the Lloyd Expressway. And temperatures have been pretty steady throughout the evening. Actually, we're up a degree in the last hour. 15 light east-southeast wind at around 3, with temperatures running uh, generally in the low to mid-teens. Morganfield, though, has been the cold spot. They're still sitting at 8 degrees. So temperatures overnight will slowly rise through the teens, and then will slowly rise through the 20s tomorrow morning, 30s tomorrow afternoon, then 40s tomorrow night. It will be a steady but gradual process. We're still kind of in between systems this evening, a little mid to high level moisture moving on into the area. The lower clouds are coming up from the southwest. This is the thicker cloud cover, Gulf moisture, and, and basically uh, pushing northward into the lower Mississippi Valley. And this is what's going to overspread the area as we head through the day uh, tomorrow. So Future Tracker keeps us partly cloudy overnight. Should have a good deal of sunshine to start the day tomorrow. But by 11 a.m., clouds have overspread a good deal of the area and I think by afternoon just about the entire tri-state will be mostly cloudy. We'll have to watch our northwestern counties as this wave of moisture comes in it could produce a little spotty freezing drizzle. You see the pink shades here up in Wayne County. I don't think it's going to be enough to be significant. Now in central Illinois where they're going to see more of this throughout the day they have a winter weather advisory in effect but anything that we get here in our northwestern county shouldn't last all that long but keep that in mind if you're traveling uh, later tomorrow morning before we get temperatures above the melting point, which we will tomorrow afternoon. I think by 3 o'clock we'll be into the low to mid-30s here in the metro. few showers breaking out, still more north and west of Evansville. And then temperatures continue to rise as we head into the evening. By 9 o'clock we're into the low 40s, but the showers are increasing across the area. Maybe some rumbles of thunder, but no severe weather to worry about. And the heaviest rain will fall late Saturday night through the pre-dawn hours on Sunday. And the rain will be ending from northwest to southeast, mainly on Sunday morning. Our future tracker model continues to dry us out by afternoon, and our high temperature will be in the morning, in the 40s. This is a cold front coming through, so during the afternoon, we'll be falling back into the 30s and some gusty northwest winds. Clouds will break up a little bit, and they'll continue to clear Sunday night as another shot of very cold air moves in, but this will not be nearly as frigid as what we're dealing with right now. We'll be into the upper teens by sunup on Monday, and with mostly sunny skies, highs on Monday will be in the low 30s, so a lot warmer than today, but about 10 degrees. Uh, below the average for this time of the year. Rainfall with this system coming in later tomorrow into early Sunday. Looks like about uh, well, our lighter amounts in our northwestern counties, about four tenths of an inch near Fairfield, three quarters of an inch in Evansville, but much of western Kentucky getting an inch to an inch and a half of rain, maybe locally heavier. That's falling on that heavier snowpack could lead to a little minor flooding, so keep that also in mind. But overnight, very cold, partly cloudy, temperatures rising through the teens, and then the clouds increase tomorrow as it turns breeze and much warmer, but a slow process. The high of 43 to 45 will be in the evening with a few showers breaking out in the afternoon more north and west of Evansville. The rain increases tomorrow night, heaviest early Sunday, and then we see it ending later Sunday morning. A windy 43 for a morning high and then falling temperatures. Much of next week looks pretty quiet. A cold start Monday, Tuesday. Highs of 34, but we're back into the 40s starting on Wednesday with some more scattered showers next Friday.